G'day guys, how's it going? All right, we're doing, I'm, I'm gonna try and um, explain the whole uh, rec reg here in the state of Victoria in Australia. So, recreational motorcycle registration. So the first thing we've got to go, basically if, if you're looking at this going, yeah, can I get a motorbike, you know, a dual sport or an adventure bike, get the cheap registration and be able to, you know, ride it on certain roads and, and all that kind of stuff. You're kidding yourself. It ain't gonna bloody happen. Rec Reg, you have to get a trailer or something that you, you gotta cart your motorcycle to a place to then be able to ride it where those designated places are. There are some skips and jumps and bits and pieces that you're gonna, you can do, you can ride on certain roads, but the way that it's designed, wherever you live, there are a few exceptions, but basically the general average bloke um, cannot jump on his bike from his house and ride it to somewhere because it, it just doesn't work that way. Right, so let's just start from the beginning. To be able to get rec registration here in Victoria, you must be 18 years of age. That's it, end of story. To be able to ride a rec registered motorcycle, you must have either a learner's permit, probationary permit, or a full motorcycle license. There's you, you, that, that's it, you, you, you can't have a 14 year old kid riding on it, you have to be licensed. Right, so now our bike. So generally when we're talking about Rec Reg, you, you've got a motocross enduro bike that you've been taking to a mate's place or on a farm or over at motor trucks. And you might be thinking, oh, you know, let's bloody pack it up to do a camp trip or something. And can I take this on public roads and tracks and there are designated ones that you can do that, but your motorbike now has to be, uh, have to have certain things for it to do it. So obviously, if it's just an enduro bike that you don't take on public roads, you don't have to have headlights or blinkers and all that kind of stuff. We've got a list here, let's go through it. So the minimum stuff is you have to have at least one um, mirror fitted, rear vision mirror. You have to have two brakes, so a front and a back, and they have to be independent working. You gotta have a front light, a real tail light and brake light, and also the number plate uh, light. You gotta have a silencing device which restricts the noise level to 94 decibels or less, an appropriate horn or warning device wired into the motorcycle's electrical system. So if you thought you could get one of those honk honk ones, when you go to Vic Rose to get your rec reg for your bike, that won't pass. And another thing is with the lights, because I, I was thinking, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just strap a torch. Yeah, or you can get those ones for the bicycles, those battery powered lights, you know, tail lights and all that kind of stuff. You can't do that. So yeah, so wired into the system, a chain guard that protects the right, so a chain guard. Um, now, this is the important part. So all lighting used must be type intended for use on motorcycles. A total loss system power source of the lighting is not access, ex, uh, acceptable. So what, the, what that's gonna rave on about is basically the lights that you have on there, they have to be wired into the, uh, into the bike and running off your bike. So that total loss, if you were to strap a torch to it, the battery can drain without being continuously charged. So that's a no-go, you can't do that. So you have to have, an, your bike must you know, be able to do the whole alternator, whatever the bloody rectifier bullshit stuff. And, I th and that's pretty much it. So you don't need to have uh, blinkers on the bike, not a problem. Obviously you'll have to have, um, oh, do you have to have road legal tires? I don't know, let's have a look. Right, so I'm just looking here and it does say general construction, this is on a PDF, so there's, I'm looking at a website and then I'm looking at the PDF and this is all from Vic Roads. A recreation motorcycle must have two wheels and its general construction must not cause or be likely to cause a danger to its operator or any other person. So 
And this is where it all becomes really broad. So obviously to me that says, you know, it must have a chain, it mustn't have spikes hanging off it, it mustn't have bald tires, all that kind of stuff. Um, right, so that's, that's pretty much it. Now the tricky part is, and this is where I was saying at the start, you're gonna have to trailer or cart your bike somewhere. The road, what roads can we bloody get on? Okay, so the way that this reads, I'm gonna flash it up, but I'm gonna sub-read it, because it's confused me for a bit. So basically, recreational motorcycles are only permitted to operate on roads that are located outside built up areas as defined by speed zones of less than 100 kilometers. So let me just stop that there. So there was an exception in, in that bloody sentence which got me a bit confused because I'm not the smartest bloke in the bloody world. Um, so freeways, highways, uh, arterial um, routes, roads, whatever, I'm gonna come back to the arterial thing. So freeways, highways, which are 100 or 110, and in some places 130 Ks, you can't ride on them, full stop. Now, the part where built up areas, defined by the less than whatever, so if you have a, a 50 zone, a 40 zone, a 60 zone, an 80 zone, a 90 zone, you can't ride on any of those roads. So obviously in a built up area around here, we have 60 zones, obviously we have some 50s and 40s. Um, you can't ride anywhere that a road is designated at, or well, the speed limit is 60 k's. And then as you get out, you get into the 80 k's. You can't ride in any of those either. Um, so that's what they're saying there. And as I said, the freeways and all that are all out. Now, the, uh, they mentioned arterial. Let me just, get on the PDF, it goes a little bit further. So that exception, except declared freeways and arterial roads, well, do we not have highways anymore in, a, in Victoria or Australia? They don't mention highways. Or all our highways freeways now. I don't understand that. They don't mention a, a highway in there. I digress. So except declared freeways and arterial roads, including roads formally designated as forest roads under the Road Management Act 2004. That's confusing as it is. How do I know whether a road was previously a forest road back on something in 2004? I have no idea, and even to try and bloody look it up, who, you know, that's just crazy. But the uh, the arterial road is basically a a road that goes from one town to another town. Now, whether that's a really small town to a really small town, or a big city, or it wouldn't be a big city, but a big town to another, to a little town or whatever. So it's a main road between two towns and generally has a fair amount of traffic on it. That's what an arterial road. Any of the outer, you know, in the out, not the outback, but in the outer bloody, you know, around all the farms and all that kind of stuff, you know, you've got dirt roads and you've even got tarred roads. There's no real speed limit on it. There's nothing marked, you know it's 100 k's or it's a, they have those end bloody zone things or whatever. Um, if it's not a road that is going from Elmore to Sebastopol, there's two different bloody places that aren't even bloody related, but um, if it's not the main road that trucks and cars would travel between and it's off that and it's just farm roads linking up other farm roads and all that, those farm road ones, you can be on those but not those main ones. The end of the story is, if you're thinking that you're, you're gonna get rec reg because it's cheaper than your normal and you're gonna save on registration, and you think you're not gonna to have to trailer your bike, you're thinking wrong. That's just, just don't even bother with it. It's just, you just can't do it the way that this is set up. Right, so now just for shits and giggles, here in Victoria, I'm gonna, we'll go to this bloody thing and I'll show you how much the, uh, the cost. And this is why a lot of people look at the recreational motorcycle registration. It's $84.20 per year. But then when we come down to the normal motorcycle, now we have metropolitan high risk, there's the outer metropolitan, which is medium risk, and then there's rural low risk. So there's different prices for, depending on where you live. 
Um, so basically, you can see all that there. I'm not going to just read them all out. But basically, you know, if you've got a DR650, um, it's going to cost you, five, you know, Metropolitan, $526.90 per year, as opposed to that $84. So everybody goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just not practical. It's not practical for a, a dual sport or an adventure bike. It's, it's for those little brappy bikes that you, you chuck on, you chuck it on the trailer, you drive out to a forest, you pull up there, you set up, pull it off, and you just ride around all those tracks in that forest. You don't leave that forest. You know, if you, you know, certain areas you could work it out that there's that forest there. You know, something like um, when we did Mount Disappointment, possibly you might be able to get to Tullarook Forest on those back roads and, and link it up. But you, you're really very, very stuck in those, in those areas. So now let's just, uh, Mark's little uh, thought here is that, um, so we've, we have a rec reg, brilliant, that's, that's great to be able to have that for the guys that have those little brappy things and they can just get out and they don't have to pay a fortune because they're not riding on the regular roads and all that kind of stuff. And I, I presume there's an X amount of tap, TAC, T-A-C, which is insurance and all that kind of stuff. Well, they're not in the mainstream and having accidents and all that kind of stuff. Although, I, want, oh, I wonder if Rec Reg you'd be covered because you're on public road, you'd have to be covered. They must cover you under that. So that's a pretty good deal, the $84.20. So that's a great thing. Um, it would be really good if they had a, like for me, I've got Max the DR650. It's not a commuter bike. It's only when I do adventure uh, stuff. So I'm not riding that all the time, but I'm paying the registration as if I rode that every day around on the roads and, and all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't, which is like they have Club Reg. So you can have Club Reg here in Victoria, and I don't know about any of the other states. I haven't looked. You join a club, and if your motorcycle is less than is older than 20 or 25 years, you can get club reg, and that means that you can do, you can ride it X amount of days or something. Don't quote me on any of this because I haven't researched it. Um, X amount of days. You've got to keep a logbook and all that kind of stuff. But you get your registration is really cheap. Again, I don't know what the price is, but a lot of people do that. But you've got to have a bike that's older than 20 or 25 years to be able to get that. But that would be good if they could have a recreational version of um, the club reg. So you could have, like Max isn't old enough to get that, but I only use him to do, you know, I could run on that same system. That would be really good if they did that, but they won't do that because um, they make too much money. And I suppose the argument for what they would make is that, well, if you can afford to have these recreational vehicles, well, then you can pay. <laughs> I, I think that's their, their argument, I suppose. But anyway, there you go. I won't waffle on anymore because I do like to ramble. And these days, I try and tell myself to shut the hell up, Mark. Righto, guys, remember, I hope this was uh, educational. Guys, if I've buggered up somewhere or you know something else, drop a comment in the... Uh, Descript drop a comment in the comment section. Bike a bit's bloody community. Yeah, that this bloody you guys. Drop it in there. Always good to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you want me to do something on the club reg for those that don't haven't looked into it, let me know and I'll do a bit of research and do something like this. Hopefully this helps, you know, some people. Righto, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on. <laughs>